damn, this box is massive. What's up folks, it's your boy Yatu and I unbox, I review things and today on my desk, if you haven't guessed by title yet, we are going to be looking at the PlayStation 5. It comes in this massive box so I can't wait to get it open, so without wasting any time, let's get straight to the unboxing. Make sure to subscribe, I'm watching you, and like. So what we have here, we have the PlayStation 5 box. Remember, we have the handle on the top, we have the Sony, and we have the PS5. And now if we switch to the front face of the box, we have the beautiful console and the beautiful white controller, PlayStation 5, AK, 4K, 120 frames second, HDR. And to the side, again, we have the console sitting vertically on the stand and the controller. And at the back, we have play like never before. We have the console now sitting horizontally. And again, the controller, lightning speed, harness the power of a custom CPU and SSD with integrated I.O. that rewrite the rules of what a PlayStation console can do. Breathtaking immersion and stunning games. One particular game that I'm, I ordered and I'm waiting on for is the Spider-Man Miles Morale. And then here we have kind of the contents within the box and the PlayStation 5 logo once again. So just to kind of give you what to uh, expect in the box, we expect the PlayStation 5 console, obviously. The control, obviously, the base or the stand, HDMI cable, I think it's 2.1, AC power cord, USB cable, printed material, so that's gonna be like your warranty or kind of your product guide. And Astro's Playroom is already pre-installed inside the console. So let's get this box opened up. So now we just open up the box. Pop the lid open, and yeah, so it's a casing. So it's kind of similar to that uh, PS4 boxing or packaging. So we have the cover. I'm gonna push out this side over here. So now for the main box, the main juices, okay. So the front's out here. So pop that open and pop this lid. I'm gonna guess there's some accessories on the top because that's how they did the previous generations. Or maybe the console. Oh. Yeah, so I got it wrong side up. Okay. So right on top, I'm gonna take that box out. So that's the console, that's the main console. We're gonna push that aside. And we're gonna take a look at this. So now for this box over here. So we have, I guess, the quick start guide. Uh, it's not very quick, it's a lot of stuff. But it's a lot bigger than the Xbox Series X. And then we have the safety guide. Uh, I don't think anyone looks at that stuff. Okay, and then we have the power adapter. Remember again, very simple. There's actually any branding on it? Nope, no branding on this, okay. Now, if we take a look here, uh, okay, so this is a stand. So this is what we are going to be using if you wanted to place it either vertically or horizontally. It's a pretty cool stand. And I think the screw's in somewhere here. If I rotate it, yeah, it should be here, okay. It's cool, put this down. And then we have the HDMI 2.1. Uh, you're gonna need the one they provide or the HDMI 2.1 because that's what's gonna allow you to play 8K game maybe in the future, as well as 4K 120 frames per second if your TV supports it, obviously. And now for the main juice, this is what I've been hyped for in terms of kind of uh, the PlayStation 5, the controller. It's a very beautiful controller, just kind of uh, off touch. I actually like the grips and like the see-through kind of buttons are amazing. The analog feels really nice. We will get to this at the end of the video, kind of give a more uh, detailed impression. So we're gonna put this down for now. Let's see if it comes with anything else. Should come with the, yeah, okay. So this is gonna be the USB uh, to USB-C kind of uh, adapter. So if you wanna connect this to your console and charge it or just connect it and play it, whatnot. But yeah, so that is uh, for the contents of this section. Now we're gonna switch our focus to the console. So now we are taking the console right out of the box. And now as I'm taking this out, uh, one thing that kind of just comes to pops in my head is the unboxing experience is very similar to that of the PlayStation 4, right? They have the same packaging kind of uh, layout. I'm gonna put this down. So now we're just gonna unwrap this and showcase the beautiful, oh my God. It actually looks way better than it. You know, to be honest, just based on like what I saw online, I was kind of worried it's gonna be very uh, large because I know there's a lot of large rumors, but it's not very heavy or does it look large and kind of like the, the white sleek. It's very sleek. It is massive, but it's very sleek.
So now that you guys have a better look at the PlayStation 5 console, my first impressions is it's stunningly beautiful, right? It's very sleek, very modern, and they kind of did go for that next-gen approach. So I'll kind of give you guys uh, what's on the front face of the console. So we have the Blu-ray optical disc drive, we have the USB Type-A, we have the USB Type-C, we have the jack button, and we also have the power button. So now if we take to the back, we still have that sleek, elegant design kind of going all the way down to the bottom. We also have ventilation running throughout the entire back. Now, if we focus on the uh, ports here, we have two USB Type-A ports. You have the Ethernet port, you have the HDMI port, uh, specifically provided us with the 2.1, and then we also have the slot for the power adapter. Now, we are gonna be turning and looking at the side panels. So up top here, we have the PlayStation kind of logo engraved. That's a, a kind of a nice touch. And now, if we take a look at the in, inner side of the uh, face plates, we have the XOs and kind of the PlayStation symbols kind of uh, engraved in the detailing. I don't know if the camera's gonna be able to pick it up. So that's it for the console. So I'm gonna push that to the side and I'm going to bring the controller into the main focus. So just kind of off the bat for in terms of like my first impressions, this is a very sturdy, a very strongly a well-built controller. And kind of one thing that popped up for me was the slant in here. It's very different from other controllers. And kind of just again, uh, in terms of visually, uh, the overlay or the layouts of the buttons are very similar to the previous generations. Uh, but one nice touch is the overlay or the see-through or overlay for the buttons. And uh, kind of the sleek design kind of carry through very similar to that console. All we have yet to do is start that PlayStation 5 and start gaming. But before we do, make sure you guys to subscribe to this channel if you guys want more Series X and more PlayStation 5 content. I will also be posting an in-depth review of the PlayStation 5 very soon. So